1986, Durand Primary was a failing state school. It was failing children and the poorest families from the most deprived areas of London. The school was a moral disgrace, an outrage. By 2010, executive head Greg Martin and head teacher Mark McLaughlin had turned the school from a fledgling failure to a school rated outstanding. Despite rising attainment levels, Durand refused to become selective, keeping its doors open to all, based on need, not on income, family advantage or religious preference. Using funds from their very own innovative social enterprise, Durand channelled money directly into the school, reducing class sizes and revolutionising standards. However, children were still leaving Durand at 11 years old, with few options for secondary schools and their levels of attainment plummeted. Durand used its savings to purchase a new site in the countryside. This will be the first ever truly free of charge state boarding school in Britain. The best education money can buy, whatever your circumstances. To achieve their goal, Durand needed governmental support. And this is where the Shine a Light on Opportunity campaign was unleashed. Despite their incredible achievements, Durand was unknown and misunderstood. They desperately needed to tell the world what they were doing. Durand's plans were launched via an exclusive release negotiated with a national newspaper. UK-wide television and radio coverage was secured and executed. A sustained campaign of information was filtered to the media, raising awareness of Durand's achievements and its amazing future. Durand featured in parliamentary debates and the local Member of Parliament championed its cause at the highest level. In November 2010, the British Government launched their education white paper at the school itself. Highly influential national magazines visited Durand to hear about the revolution that was taking place. Well, good morning. This is today. In December 2010, John eight million Britons woke up to Durand's executive head on BBC Radio 4's Today programme, describing their achievements and their mission. Speaking in February 2011, the British Education Secretary confirmed he was a great admirer of Durand School. Finally, in April 2011, notification was received from the British government. Durand would be awarded over £17 million of funding to make the revolution happen and to build the school in the British countryside. A light had been shone on the school. The next phase of the life-changing revolution had begun. Public relations and political relations brought Durand's case to millions and helped make their dream a reality.